What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today's episode, it's not quite wired yet, but it's gonna be good. All right, so today we're gonna be we're gonna be painting the uh, intercooler pipes. This guy right there, that the one on the other side is off. Also the manifold, which is off. We're gonna paint all that. I got my little paint booth ready to go. I also got these media tires. I posted off on Instagram. And these are look at this. Look at my hand on it. So. They're about 12 inches wide, so those are, I think they'll hook, they'll hook just fine. But anyways, back to this, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and paint all that stuff and then do a final assembly of the whole front end. Actually drop the car on its wheels and tires, I'm going to put the wheels on those and uh, pretty much wrap it up, put all the fluids in there. And then after that, then we're going to go ahead and start working on the wiring. guys I got everything in here ready to go so I'm gonna spray um, a one stage paint gloss white it's just one uh, you know you don't, you don't gotta do um, clear base clear none of that it's just one coat of one paint well you can do three coats but you get what I'm saying there's no stages to it and uh, they cheap and easy to apply and since all this is gonna get scratched up, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on this. At the end of the day, it's a race car, so all these parts are gonna go in and out multiple times. All right, guys, so I got everything drying out. Came out pretty good. The paint is a little, it's not 100% dry yet, so I can't really put any pressure on them, so I can't install them. Uh, so I'm gonna wait like, I don't know, maybe two days or something, so it's fully cured and then go ahead and install it. Alright, so one of the things I forgot to do is install this little guy. Uh, this is a 3 port boost controller from Cobb. So yeah, 3 port boost controller from Cobb Tuning. Um, yeah, completely forgot about this guy. So I'm gonna, well, I think I'm gonna install it down there out of the way. Now visible, it's not the prettiest thing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it just down there under the headlight and uh, yeah do that and then another thing is a vacuum block so that I can distribute vacuum from the block from not from the block sorry from the from the manifold distribute vacuum to that block and then from that block it will go to where it needs to be so one for the uh, blow off valve uh, one for the uh, brake booster back there and uh, one also for this guy the fuel pressure regulator you know whatever they need to go so I'm gonna install these two things right now Alright guys, so I got all my uh, fittings here for all the vacuum lines. I don't hear a bunch of straights, 90s, and some more 90s for joints and stuff like that if I want to make a turn and I don't have the room for uh, to make a loop. I use those 90s. Oh, by the way, this thing, the uh, 
paint never dried so I had to put some um, one of those aircraft paint removers so I still got a bit to to go on there uh, the other two I already resprayed them and they're shooting up here but I think I had some bad paint that thing never dried after four days on the Sun it was still sticky anywho I'm gonna go ahead to install these on my on my uh, boost controller Westgate and uh, blow off valve give you a little update here so I got all my lines run to the boost controller all right that's the boost controller right there you see the lines coming out of it so top one comes over here to the vacuum block one of them down there turns and goes to the wastegate and the other one comes behind the turbo to there so those are those and then we got a vacuum line here coming to the fuel pressure regulator and then there's a vacuum line that's going to come from the manifold to here and then another one is going to exit and go to a brake booster and then I'm going to have another line coming out of the bottom of these you can see the 90 going to the electronic boost controller the one next to it is going to come straight down to the blow off valve it's just going to say somewhere there it's not installed yet, but uh, that should be that. I'm going to show you that next, actually. guys so I got the intercooler pipe installed oil cooler is back on the hoses are connected and tight and then I also went ahead and installed the blow valve which is sitting down there with the vacuum line hooked up to it now this is already looking a little crazy but it is what it is you need to you need to run hoses where they gotta go so I try to do it as neatly as I could they kind of you know follow each other in, in pairs and then see tying them to each other trying to make it uh, look as clean as possible but at the end of the day yeah we need all that so the next stop is to install the manifold but I'm waiting on my other injector plugs to get here they should be getting here today is Tuesday it should be here by Friday and then I also gotta respray the manifold which is still sitting over there and um, yeah, oh, I got got the tires mounted on the wheels. You see them right there. Alrighty, check this out. So I had this plate made. It's got my logo in it, but the hood has a, a slope to it here, so I'm gonna have to bend that. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna make a mark where that line is, where the finish is, and then I'm gonna try to put some angle on that thing, on the vise. Make sure I put a tons of cloth in there so I don't get it all scratched up. But man, this thing is looking sweet. It's got the little cutouts for the bolts to sink into it. Oh yeah, it's gonna look really nice. I think I got pretty lucky there 
see if I put a little bit of pressure down here it's pretty much gonna sit flush the shit is not gonna it's not gonna let you see it but that's pretty good all the way over here and over there so that one time thing I love it when that happens you can get I keep on trying back and forth so now I'm just gonna tape it up officially drill some holes and uh, stall it so here's something else I need to get installed on the car this is uh, an exhaust pressure gauge exhaust pressure gauge so this is one of the few brands that makes this uh, sort of gauge I know it's not the greatest but uh, it will do for what I needed to do um, the purpose of this gauge is to check what's the back pressure on your manifold before the turbo and what that uh, allows you to see is that you don't you're not putting a lot of back pressure inside the the cylinders and potentially lifting your head so the the good the good ratio to have here is one to one so if you're pushing 40 pounds of boost you want to see 40 pounds on this gauge um, that's just a preventive measure um, last time that's what happened to me I lifted the head I was uh, pushing 42 pounds and the engine was not having it so hopefully this helps me for the future builds this one for example so hopefully with these I can prevent that from happening again a uh, bunch of pieces to install here a lot of them are just adapters and this thing you can't just hook this up to your manifold uh, you need to have it on a coil like this mount it uh, remotely I guess because of the heat you can damage that thing so you need this thing to cool it down anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that <laughs> See if I can get the camera down there. Here you go. So that's the coil sensor mounted right there, and it makes its way to where is it? To down there. You see there, that guy. That right there is a sensor on the manifold. Not the sensor, the connection to the manifold and then the coil. Uh, I don't know if I explained this before, but you're supposed to have that the um, the tubing coil like that for better cooling. All right, on to the next thing. What if I told you that this was done with rattle can? Not lying, y'all. 
Here's the clear I use. And the paint, or is it? I just used whatever I had laying around. See, it's for furniture and stuff, dust metal, wood metal, and other finishes. I just had this stuff laying around. So you can see here, I got a bunch from previous stuff that I, you know, just a quick spray, but look at this. It works great. It's got a lot of shine to it. Awesome finish and quick. So a few episodes back, I was talking about the Core Sport um, throttle body, how it's uh, bigger than OEM, and if I should get it. Uh, some of you said, hell yes, it makes a huge difference. Well, my friends were watching the video, and uh, since it's my birthday, they decided to give me this as a gift. So I, I, just, I just love my friends, man. Sorry, God, I got the best friends. All right, so this thing is pretty much assembled and ready to go. On the car, um, I think it's a 4.5 bar map sensor. If I remember correctly, it's a 4.5. I got 26 CC, 2600 CC injectors on the rail here. Eight uh, AN line feed. Um, I've talked about that guy already. And then just one vacuum line out of the manifold to the block, distribution block. So yeah, that should be it. Now to install it, I'm still waiting on the other three uh, plugs here. Because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the ass to install that after the manual is on. So I'm going to wait for that to get here. got the tires mounted on the wheels here everything is in the car now look at me look how much of a fender flare i want to have to do front and rear so this thing is going to be super wide three inches wider on each side three inch to three and a half yeah that's a lot of meat that should be just fine all righty so the whole front end of the car is 100 percent complete I got all the sensors installed. You can see the IT sensor installed right there. You didn't get to see that. Uh, piping is painted. Over here as well. Manifold is on with the injectors, the rail, all fuel lines in and out. Uh, coolant lines, oil cash can lines, oil lines. Everything is 100%, uh, even vacuum lines. So. That's it. Now, this is this is it for me. Now the next step is wiring. So I'm already I'm already working on that in the background, but uh, I should get you a video on that next. But anyway, that is it for this uh, episode. So stay tuned and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you and see you next time.